Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. A question you guys are always asking me is, if money, time, and effort was no object, what would my ultimate skincare routine look like? Well, at the moment, I'm focusing on down on anti-aging, you know, minimizing fine lines and wrinkles, maximizing firmness and elasticity. But on top of all of this, I also want to keep in check my adult acne, which is still going strong, even into my 37th year here on planet Earth. These questions do get me thinking. I've got a little bit of time today. I'm having a really chill day because yesterday I actually had some moles and lesions which removed from my skin, which are these two marks here. Let this be a lesson to you guys. Wear your sunscreen. I'm going to talk a bit more about this in the future. Things are still a little bit sore and I'm feeling a little bit vulnerable about the whole thing, but there'll be a full video to come in the next couple of weeks. But now I've got a little bit of time to myself today as I'm chilling out. I thought, let's put this to the test. What would be my ultimate anti-aging skincare routine if I had the time, the money and the the effort to piece it together. So sit back, relax, let's talk my ultimate skincare routine. Now I've got a lot to get through in this video so I'm going to jump straight in and of course any good anti, in fact any skincare routine, anti-aging or otherwise, starts with a really effective facial massage. The things we wake up in the morning, look in the mirror and think, oh I wish I could change that about my skin, often could be corrected by facial massage. The puffiness, the inflammation, the dark circles, all these things, it could be free. All you need is a really good cleanser that has a bit of slip to it and your fingers. Work it into the skin really gently, just over a 60 second period and that facial massage will really transform things for you. I've done that already off camera because, you know, I like to take that little bit of moment to, it's my chill time when I do that facial massage and I like to get various steps in. If you want to see what my current routine looks like when it comes to massage, I'll leave a link to a video up there. That's actually from like two years ago, but I still use the exact same techniques. So it's just as valid now as it was back then, but don't read me to feel for bad lighting, editing and all that good stuff. And um, to get that slip that I think is needed to use a really good facial massage, I use this. This is the beauty of Joseon Radiance Cleansing Balm. Now a lot of people will say, in the morning, cleansing balm, really? Well, I don't mind reaching for a cleansing balm for facial massage if it washes away without a trace on the skin. I don't like a cleansing balm that leaves that almost like waxy film because then I worry the rest of my skincare will have to fight through that to be effective. I'm not all about that, but this doesn't. It washes away without a trace and lets you get that really nice, luxurious feel when you're doing your facial massage. Uh, now, for the rest of the skincare routine, I'm actually going to be avoiding the areas of my forehead and my nose because obviously this is quite fresh and it's healing as we go. My dermatologist recommended it, keeping it super simple. Just a little barrier cream on the areas, nothing else. Doesn't mean though that I can't enjoy my skincare on the rest of my face. So if you wonder why I'm avoiding those areas, obviously doctor's orders and I'm never one to break the rules. <laughs> so that's what we're covering off. Now, first step after I've done a really good facial massage is going to be my vitamin C. Now, a lot of people wonder where vitamin C comes in a skincare routine. I like to do it fairly early on. Um, today I'm reaching for this. This is the ordinary ascorbic acid 8%, alpha arbutin 2%. Um, and when I'm talking about like ultimate anti-aging skincare routine, the reason that I opted for this product of all the other vitamin C's on the market is I think this is kind of just does it all. It's the perfect mid strength. So you get minimum sensitivity, but really great results. And it's got that 2% alpha arbutin, which will really help eat away at any hyperpigmentation. The number one skin concern people report as they age isn't actually fine lines and wrinkles, it's hyperpigmentation and an uneven skin tone. I think that can really age us and this is something I'm certainly trying to target in my own skin. You know, I went years without wearing sunscreen. My mom made sure she applied it from like day one right the way through till I was 18. But kind of as a bit of a pointless act of rebellion, I think when I hit 18 I was like, yeah, I don't need that. Who needs the sunscreen? It doesn't feel good on the skin. No one needs that in their life. And I didn't wear sunscreen between like age 18 and maybe like 32. And as a result, I've got a lot of hyperpigmentation. I'm now having to have things removed from the skin. So let this just be a wake up call to you. Please, please, please wear your sunscreen. It'll make things a lot easier in the long term. And I think we're really blessed now to have great sunscreens that actually feel good on the skin. But to tackle and fade my hyperpigmentation, vitamin C is like my number one go to. And I love, love, love this product. Now I'm gonna take my glasses off for this because obviously I'm gonna be applying it um, under them. But this, yeah, glides onto the skin. Really great mid strength. And I think could work for just about everyone. Now I apply it all over the skin. I mean, you can target this on areas where you have that hyperpigmentation if you prefer. Um, but for me, I have pretty uneven skin tone. It's something I've been working on for quite a few years. So I use it all over the skin. I'd say thanks to products like that, I'm probably like 90% of the way there in my hyperpigmentation journey and a lot of it now is about maintenance but don't overpay for your vitamin C the ordinary that was so good now next I'm going to apply this this is a Q&A seaweed peptide eye gel 
Um, a lot of people will say, do you need an eye gel? <laughs> Technically not, you don't. But I think, you know, if you get your facial massage right and you do it really well under the eye in particular, that can help with the dark circles, puffiness and inflammation. But I do still like to apply a little bit of an eye gel to just help things further. I actually keep this in the fridge. It's water-based, so you can keep your water-based eye gels in the fridge ultimate cooling, removes all of that puffiness and inflammation in a flash and just I think gives you that nice little confidence boost. This also has some really great products to boost collagen and elastin in the long term. So it has like that short term wins, long term anti-aging gains, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to let all of that sink in and get to work. And I do find if you do a really effective facial massage, the rest of your skincare routine kind of applies that little bit better. And um, I think it's something to do with the level of blood flow, you know, you're left lymphatic if I can get my words out drainage is going and that way yeah I just feel like your products absorb and apply that a little bit better another main reason why you should definitely do facial massage now next I'm going to apply azelaic acid and um, azelaic acid is a true hero in anti-aging because not only will it help fade hyperpigmentation dark spots and discoloration but it can increase cell turnover it's got so many multiple different benefits alongside calming and soothing as well I think we all become a little more inflammation and redness prone as we age so azelaic acid can just dial all that back and um, today I'm actually applying the Skinnerin 20% which I got from my dermatologist a while ago I actually checked the date on this and it's nearly running out so I wanted to use it up before I had to throw it out though normally I'd probably go for like a 10 or a 15% azelaic acid and um, I'll leave a link to a video up there covering some of my other favorites if you want to go for a lower strength and um, this one's prescription here in the UK but of course you know I don't think there's a huge difference between a 15 and a 20% in my experience um, and I apply this to the cheek areas now the reason I'm using it here is because this is where I have that most prolific hyperpigmentation and where I can get the most benefits and um, this is a cream but it's a very lightweight cream so you can use it alongside your serums and um, a lot of people say how do you layer creams alongside serum products well for me I don't worry about it too much because as long as it, the product isn't pilling which this never does it's really not an issue. Other products will still work really, really well alongside it. And I find using it at this step in my skincare routine, minimizing the prickling and irritation that you can get from a high strength azelaic acid, because you've already got a little bit of a buffer on the skin from using that vitamin C. This, oh, feels so, so good. Though, yeah, like I say, once this is done, the hassle of prescription isn't worth it. I'll just go for a 15%, but I'm never one. I don't like to waste my products. Now, up next is this little gem, the V Green Seeker Serum. Now, the reason that this deserves a place in an ultimate anti-aging routine is, well, there's many reasons. First up, drugstore and affordable, which I love. It's also the best formulated centella serum I think I've ever found. And the main reason I like to use this in my routine is studies have shown if you use Seeker alongside vitamin C, which I've already applied, actually quadruples the amount of additional collagen in your body can produce versus that vitamin C in isolation. So this is a great way of getting some extra firmness and elasticity back into the skin without actually having to increase the amount and total spend of your routine by a whole lot. I covered this in like a separate video, I loved it that much, which I'll link up there. But I like to use two pumps of this because not only will it give you that collagen boosting benefit, it's also calming, it's soothing, it's hydrating, and it feels so, so gorgeous on the skin. And it sinks in like that. So it's not one of those products that you have to wait like two or three minutes for it to sink in it gets to work straight away which is honestly an absolute pleasure to use now I'm going to include a little bit of an optional step which is just for me and I do encourage people to do this you know, not every single step in your skincare routine has to have a purpose in fact the purpose can be it just brings you joy you really enjoy reaching for the product and this is a secret key starting treatment essence now this actually has lots of benefits for the skin but the main reason it's in this ultimate skincare routine is I just really enjoy it. I love the look of the product. It makes me want to reach for it when it's on the vanity. It looks bougie, even though I think I paid like 15 pounds for this. It's really not that expensive. It feels like heavyweight. I, I just really love applying this. And I'm gonna come on to some peptides. And peptides do absorb better on damp skin. So, you know, just juicing up the skin a little bit with this first is never a bad thing. I just press this very gently into the skin straight after that V Green Serum. And it just doubles down on the plumping that you're going to get. Your skin will look dewy. It will look plump. And it looks so, so hydrated. And like I say, before that has a chance to dry, go straight in with your peptides. Because they're just going to penetrate that a little bit better. 
You guys know I love the Ordinary Matrixel and the Ordinary Azuraline used together in combination. I talk about this all the time on the channel. However, that is two steps. Whilst they're both affordable products, it does take double the time to apply. And recently I've been really loving this, which is the Medicaid Liquid Peptides. Quite a few people will say, do peptides actually work? There are some studies out there that show actually they really struggle to penetrate the skin. So whilst you might be applying peptides to the skin, are they really getting to where they need to be in order to pay dividends and give you the great benefits? Well, I actually debunked some of this myth in a video very recently, which again, I'm going to link up there. But what I said in that video is that peptides are half of the story. They also need a really good delivery mechanism to really take those peptides into the skin where they need to be to deliver all that benefit. So whilst if you're on a budget, using the Ordinary Azurolite and Matrixel together will give you game-changing anti-aging results. Honestly, I cannot fangirl about them enough. If you have a little extra coin to spend and you want some more advanced delivery technology and both of those peptides alongside others all together in one serum, I think the Medicaid liquid peptides j just delivers. It is a little bit more expensive, but for me, the convenience, the delivery technology, it is just worth it. And this feels so, so good on the skin. Um, I tend to just use two drops of this because it's a bit more expensive. Maybe I use it a little bit more sparingly than some other products, but again, just work it into the skin. A common question I always get asked is, should you be patting or rubbing? Um, and I often get accused of being too vigorous with my applications of products, but you know what? I'm the sort of person that just likes to work it into the skin. I don't like, you know, I see people like delicately barely touching it. I think, you know, our skin isn't like China, breaks at the slightest touch. You can honestly work it into the skin however you feel. Maybe I'm a bit more robust with my application than other people out there. That's absolutely fine. Do what works for you. But for me, I don't have time or the hands <laughs> to just sort of like gently tap everything. I'm not all about that. It's too faffy. I like to just go in with a product, work it in, and as long as it's not boiling up or pilling, you're doing the right thing. Now, this is fairly close to the end of the routine. I feel like we've covered an awful lot of things. The peptides are going to boost collagen and elastin. They're also great for evening out the skin tone in the long run. You've got some vitamin C, great antioxidant protection, minimizing hyperpigmentation, fading discoloration. You've got azelaic acid for all its anti-aging benefits, and you've got some really nice lymphatic drainage going on with that facial massage. The two steps I would always encourage you add at the end of your anti-aging routine is a good antioxidant serum and, of course, your sunscreen. And the antioxidant serum I'm going to be using today is this. This is the Mad About Skin All Day Protection Antioxidant Cream. Um, I wanted to formulate this in a cream formulation rather than a strict serum because then it stops perfectly at the end of your routine alongside your sunscreen to double down on the protection you're going to get, but also double down on the hydration. If you're someone that uses a sunscreen that has drying alcohol in and you find it does strip and dry the skin a little bit, then you can use this beforehand and it'll kind of hydrate and nourish the skin, minimizing the impacts of any of that drying alcohol. Alcohol. If you use a sunscreen that's formulated without drying alcohol, even better. And this is just going to dial up the level of hydration you're going to get. One pump is all you need, and it's packed full of so many different antioxidants. You've got my favorites like pycnogenol, ferulic acid, resveratrol, vitamin E, Q10. It's all there. It gives you like that comprehensive coverage and protection against um, free radicals, oxidative stress, which in the long term is going to preserve the collagen we have in the skin. I think instead of seeing like anti-aging as maximize the amount of collagen you produce, I actually see it as that's half of it, but also cling on and treasure the collagen we've already worked so hard to create and that's where antioxidant serums go in. I'd recommend whether you choose mine or any of the other amazing ones on the market, go for one that has multiple different antioxidants all in the formulation, maximum benefits and coverage, minimum number of products. That's also really affordable and I've linked it as I will all the products mentioned today in the description box below if you want to check them out. Now all that's left is to apply my sunscreen and I'm going to be reaching for my own which is Mad About Skin Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen. I created this because I wanted a product that was truly broad spectrum absolutely hydrating rather than stripping and drying the skin, has some added antioxidants in there as well, and delivers the most lightweight finish on the skin. I am so, so proud of this formulation. That's why I put my name to it. Um, and yeah, it's just a wonderful, wonderful product. And for a short period only, we're doing like a three for two offer. So if you put two of these sunscreens in your basket, you'll automatically be sent a third completely free of charge. So for the next week from the date at which this video was filmed, if you put two of these in your basket, we'll automatically send you a third. So, you know, it's just an extra way of saving some of your hard earned coin if you wanted to stock up while you can. Um, I always apply my sunscreen in two parts. I'll put one layer on now, a thin layer, then I'll wait, apply another layer on top, and then I'll cover those areas I always miss, like the tops of my ears and my eyelids. But this, 
feel so good on the skin. If you can see how dewy, how bouncy it is. Now I'm not actually going to apply the second layer on camera because I want to do that off camera where I can target my sunscreen on the areas which obviously any fresh skin, any wounds, anything like that, you need to be really, really precise with your sunscreen application. So I'm actually going to do the rest off camera to make sure I get that full coverage. But this gives you an idea of how it applies to the skin. Bouncy, dewy and glowing. So there you have it guys, my ultimate anti-aging skincare routine. I hope this doesn't come as a bit of an anti-climax to you guys, because I think some people might have been expecting like a 15, 16, 20 step skincare routine. Honestly, you don't need to overpay and you don't need that many steps. If you incorporate all of these ingredients in whether you use these products or other ones on the market, I think you'll get a really comprehensive anti-aging skincare routine. Doesn't need to break the bank, doesn't need to take too many steps. You can trim this down, you can skip some of the steps, you know, the toner that's one that I personally enjoy but it's not absolutely essential you can minimize and streamline things down but if you wanted a bit of inspiration for your own skincare routine hopefully this has delivered just let the takeaway message from this be wear your sunscreen <laughs> this is gonna be my mantra for 2023 and if you want to know how to effectively apply sunscreen to minimize any issues in the future I'll leave a link to a video I did covering that off it feels almost like a little bit basic and simplistic like how to apply sunscreen we all know that but it's worth watching because actually this hint tips and hacks there of maximizing your protection with your existing product that you're already using wherever you are in the world guys stay safe stay well i love your skin take care bye